Championship ring. Roll up a hole up. Mm. Roll up. Wait. Roll up. Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah. LeBron thinks the Nets draft pick and Kyrie trade won't be any good. Mm. Roll up. He said that? Hold up. Yeah, roll up. Roll up, but he said that? Yeah, he said that. I ain't even hear him. Oh, yeah. Roll true. up. Oh, Vegas okay. mass yeah, shooter, his brother is arrested for child pornography. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's like some wild boys, man. They got fucked up dudes in their family, man. They got fucked up dudes in their family, dude. There's some wild boys. Up, All right. mm-mm, mm-mm. So next one, roll up a hole up. Aston Martin makes 12 special edition cars, Tom Brady editions, mm, really? and sells them for 360k each. The fuck? Oh, I don't know about you. Oh. <laughs> That's a real hold up. Wait, hold up. We got a hold up on that one? Hold the fuck up. Yeah, hold up, please. <laughs> so you're telling me Tom Brady has a car special edition after him. On some Eddie Bauer yeah. shit. On some Eddie Bauer shit. They only yes, made like 12. The Tom, so what comes with it? Like, what do you get? <laughs> you get Tom Brady. <laughs> you get, you get, does it come with five rings? <laughs> no. It's probably just a fully loaded car named after Tom Brady. That's probably with it. five rings. Oh, yeah, they, that's crazy, man. I'm, I'm some wild that. boys is all I got to say. I'm going to get the details right now. Man, that just means it's probably going back to the fucking Super Bowl. So it's the 2018 mm-hmm. Aston Martin Vanquish S. I don't know if you guys heard of that. The oh, Volante the Tom Vanquish? Bridge. Yes. Oh, so you're a fan That's of the... Wow. Um, the engine is a V12. Um, horsepower is 592. Uh, 0 to 60 and 3.7. Has a 465 torque. 197 top speed. Mid-size convertible, and it's a sports car. Let's see. So you know that just uh, it comes well, with you go. leather interior. Uh, Tom Brady customized Keep logo it on it. Uh, a TB, which also doubles as a twelve. Uh, kind of pithy, but kind of corny at the same time. Um, the car looks like something that belongs in like a probably a nineteen sixties movie. You fucking suck. I'm sorry. No. Wait, what? She <laughs> got personal. Yeah, man. I need Kansas City to win by uh, seven and a half. They up, they up ten. Know. Denver just scored. Oh. Yeah. They just went for two, and Trevor Simeon threw it in the stands. Oh. So we're going we're gonna to keep this one pushing. Welvin the Great of Gotheem fame. Has a girlfriend. Roll up a hole up. What? Hold up. Well, I'm not surprised. Hold up. Who? You know, Welvin the Great. Well, you know, you know, Welvin the Great. Welvin no, the I great. don't. Who? The, 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 the nigga, nigga that go, got him. Oh. Yeah. Listen, man. I'm not on social media and shit like that. Well, He's he, nuts. Well, I don't got, know people's names. <laughs> he got so some he big titty girl. chick now. Yeah, some, some bro, some... some Quadruple D's, not, not even gassing. Them shits hang down to her fucking waist. What? Them shits is huge. Hey, what? Them shits is fucking huge. Well, I guess he got them then. Got him. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I guess so. Yep, they the the onside kick and they get All right. <laughs> so we we gonna we gonna go to the next one then. Someone somewhere, I don't know where. 
but they got buried in a Louis Vuitton ex Supreme casket. Mm. See now, hold up. <laughs> Is it, hold up, come on. Was it a nigga? That's Hold the up. question. Well, that's your question. My my comment is, <laughs> why would you get buried? They don't bury you in the casket. Mm-mm. Like that shit's for show. Like you get in the casket, they lower you. When everybody leaves, they put you in a wooden, like a regular wooden box, and bury your ass. Yeah. Okay. So that is, that is you crazy. just paid all that money for show. Mm-hmm. Some that's gonna sound like some nigga shit. Oh man, so niggas even stump. Nah, that could be some. That could be some Hampton white white girl shit. Some nigga shit. That's just pure nigga. When I say nigga, I mean oh, wow. universal. So okay, we, I, so get it. Go, I get you. I get what you're saying. So we're going black, black or white on this one, man. Dre, where where you sitting on this? Black or white? I, I think it's a nigga. I think it's a nigga. Uh, just just to show. I off. think it's a nigga too, man. I think well, I'm going for the darky. TG, TG's the wild horse on this one, man. He's going with the Hamptons. I'm the, yeah, the unicorn. The white horse. <laughs> the white, white horse. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Making it white horse. downtown. <laughs> Yo. All right, guys. Yo. Next and roll and up and hold up. Next and roll up and hold up. I guess we're not going to find out. A- Amazon. Yo, <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's next to roll up a whole up, but no. Amazon has a new service called Amazon Key, where with the purchase of with the purchase of the Amazon Key service, um, mm-hmm. the deliveries and other services will now have access to your home. I come inside my house, smoke my weed. Hold up, but time out, come on, come on. This is dope about this shit. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with TG out. on this they one, man. I don't need you coming in my house smoking my weed, man. I don't need that. Like, no, no. Listen, they give you a camera that they, they send you the camera. Then they, they tell, you, tell you how to install it and everything, so you know what's going on when they come to your crib and all, bro. So we know Mac it's is still kind of sketchy, though. Senior analyst, your thoughts? Oh my god, senior analyst. I, like, I don't know, man. It, it's not. Wait, what? <laughs> we got some fuck shit. We need your thoughts. I don't know. Listen, I, I'm with TJ on this one. I don't need nobody coming to my house. All right, because I got a lot of shit in my house, okay? And, you know, mostly Amazon, so they might steal my shit. They might smoke my weed. I have to fuck yeah. kill somebody on Amazon. Okay? I, I, can't, I can't do that. It's just so. It's the shit is just so weird. I'm not but off it. First thing I the thought, fact that they give you a camera. That's they just want access to in your house. That's yeah. all. Like shit to some black market or something. Make some bitcoins. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, like I, I, oh, yeah. That's the way to oh yeah, you want. You want uh, home surveillance of this of this family of four? <laughs> you feel me? Like, On the dark internet? How you think they're getting that shit? Fucking cameras in your house. Somebody How hack, that sound? We gonna give IP. You, we're, let us in your house. We're going to give you cameras to watch us come in your house. Yeah. What? So y'all could delete the camera, delete the footage when y'all steal some shit? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Niggas is work. It's, it's an inside job. Mac, let us know how that goes down. Uh, cancel man. my prime service. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just look, some look, look, next look. day I'm gonna come one day, nigga. I'm just d- be in my house with the package. Oh yeah, yeah. This came with your. You got a 30 day free trial. Came with your prime. How the fuck you get the key? Oh, we make keys. <laughs> oh, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Alexa should have told you. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> That's what we get. Get Alexa Shout in your house. the home service. <laughs> For real, man. Alexa, turn my heat down. Oh, TG, are you too cold? <laughs> Bitch, turn the heat down. That, I, yo, I promise you, in like five years, that's what it's going to be, man. I promise yo, you. No, Alexa, it's, already doing that. it's already doing that, bro. It's already adapt to whatever you, you like your heat at already, man. You feel so like bro. that is good. Like certain things like that I come in the house. Alexa, put the heat on 80. Like, you know, do like. that stuff. It knows already. That's what I'm telling you. The shit I moves. Know. But see, like. What's he coming to the 
house. You're not saying anything. It, when, when, that, when that motherfucker know that you in the crib, oh, is that 75 for you? And you said thanks, I mean, or thanks, Google. That's cool, though. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is so peep game next up tg just for you oh, in the car man. the kardashians signed a 150 million dollar deal to re-sign their show with <laughs> e-network mm. oh great good job <laughs> more power roll up this roll deal up. this deal roll and, and this deal entires that chloe kim and courtney gets the bread but wait i'm holding up on this just for the simple fact that they somehow excluded the children kids and then put them on their own separate deal for the future if they was to get any features in episodes what type of business hustle have they monopolized with themselves that the kids Damn. are now even getting a cut of this fucking yes. check but they said we gotta make sure we all eat bruh the chief's covered well i mean you gotta think about it. that's what uh, the, that's what her mother did to them. They come from a mother who whored out her daughter. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. In so many words. Hey, how'd you get rich? Oh, my mom sold the sex tape of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what crazy. happened. It wasn't nothing crazy. That's what happened, you know. Yeah. I had, I had to bend over for a little bit. Mom said I had to do it. It was Armenian people. <laughs> or whatever the hell they are. They're from the Middle East. Armenia. So fun. Crazy, yeah. man. But, you know. Congratulations so to E. $150 million. They make an average money, they could just give them $150 million. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's crazy. Like, and they hold t- their TV budget is probably 50, uh, uh, $200 million. That's wild, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't do shit on that shit. That's wild. Right. What other show comes on E? Match. All, 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 all reality, dude. Love and hip hop. That's Love and hip hop. Ain't that VH1? That's VH1, man. Oh, I forgot. I don't know this shit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I need to get my find this lighter, bro. Which, uh, next one, roll up a whole up. October 27th marked the official day for all pre orders for the Apple iPhone X. What do you do? Roll up. Yeah, roll up. Not getting it. That shit yo, niggas are going crazy though, son. Hey, yo, so somebody, yo, real shit. Somebody sold the iPhone eight for like I think seven thousand bucks, be or either seven or nine thousand. Somebody bought the shit. What? Somebody bought the iPhone seven, the iPhone eight for seven thousand dollars, bro. Overseas. That's what up. Shit. That's wild, That's son. All right, next up on Roll Up a Hold Up, Cardi B on the cover of her new mixtape is being sold by sued by a male model by, for using his likeness in a sexual manner. What? What the? Uh, looking like he caught a lick. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, so basically, what? Cardi, lick, Cardi B is on the cover of her new mixtape, oh, oh, and she's getting her, her, her box snatched. And um, this male mm-hmm. model... I'm assuming from the likeness of his tattoos and his hairs, some some European dude, he's suing her because he did not appreciate his likeness to be used in such a sexual manner on the cover of his mixtape. Him eating her snatch so, while she's drinking a Corona. I guess he just wanted everybody to know it was him. That's a basically. He just That's what wanted, it sounds like. He wanted to get famous. It's not going to work. He wanted to get famous. It's solid. This is some bullshit, man. I need to find a lighter because I ain't going to get high or famous. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Well, that I don't even have a crack high lighter high. or something. Yeah, I, I went and doubled up on lighters just because they was fucking, they got new ones in stash. No, I got, I got this in the car, man. You trying to go outside. Oh, no, that's a mess. I got my, I got my Tesla one, my electrical. True. It's in the car. I keep that in the car just in case. <laughs> Right, well equipped. Bro, I'm telling you, I need to get up on it. That shit is like plasma, bro. It work in the wind, any weather. You just got to charge it. Oh, no, I'm definitely going to look into that motherfucker. Or All right. Not. Yeah, so, yeah nah, I might have to go. I'll go grab it once we uh finish up. Next up, gentlemen, roll up a hole up. The Locks released a new album the exclusive to title. The who? Oh. 
to title, roll up. Uh, of course, of course. Just because it's on title. They got a roll. Oh, man. Last, last That's album was so trash, dude. Damn. I don't care what anybody said. All right, guys. I'm going to listen to it, but... Oh, no, I'm not, because I, cause I have Google Play and Apple Music. Exactly. Don't have title. Oops. Yeah. Stupid ass title. Fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> that nigga just said, he said fuck hoes. <laughs> fuck out of here with that He's shit. Like, oh, like, come on, bro. Like you, you always try to make his shit, you know, better, better than what it is. He don't want to play nice. He it's like, oh, my shit exclusive. So you know, I buy, I buy the company. That's the only reason it's exclusive. Cause you're a owner. Nobody else wanted exclusive rights to that shit. <laughs> Everybody else getting Apple deals and shit. You nah, Apple probably wouldn't even give you the deal. Mm. Facts. You'd probably asked for some crazy ass money, and Apple is just like, uh, nah, we're doing fine. <laughs> so now he want to go make his own thing to make it bigger than what it is. Stop it. You finish. Mm. So there you go. Listen, four 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 was dope. Uh, yeah, so. that shit was pretty dope, sir. Uh, I mean, you know it's JC, but still he's gonna put out a good project. <laughs> so gentlemen He can rap, but all the people that was rapping when I was ten years old, they're all finished. <laughs> pretty much. Whether they nah. want to believe it or not. Nah, pretty much. Wait, wait, they might still have it lyrically, but people ain't checking for them in this day and age. So they Yeah, like JD Kiss, finish. Yeah. Nas, finish. No. Buster Rhymes, finish. I won't say nah, I won't say Nas not finished, bro. Come on, man. Nas is finished. Nah, they Ain't still, nobody listening to Nas. They still they dope, but nobody bullshit. no one's checking for him. Ask yeah. a twenty three year old right now. It was the last Nas song they heard. Yeah, but come on, you can't even say that, bro, because half of these niggas listen to trash. See, no, that's the thing. That's, though, that's what I'm saying. That's you're going years based, ago, you're going when based I was, off what when I was you twenty. Like. I'm just saying like you know, for I agree with TG. I mean, I agree. The the crazy the thing about it is good that they're still around, they're relevant. But to think like, they're still. Busy. I'm trying to think who's Jay Z is probably the only one that is the most relevant. Like Eminem's not relevant. Not yet. He gonna make another album though. He hasn't been relevant since that. I'm not listen, listen, you can you can still make out. Uh, he's it's 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 done. Listen, it's done. I'm sorry. Like that's just over with, bro. Listen, I ain't even gonna knock you. Eminem he has a Eminem album. has a beard. It's over. If Eminem, Eminem, album, Eminem, forty five years old. So. In my car, dog. Yeah, oh, but... I'm not saying you won't be bumping it, but you gotta like, come on. If you out in the public, if you around people, you usually know what people is bumping. I don't give a fuck what they niggas bumping. is listening to Future and fucking Young Thug and you know. Trap me like that's just what people are listening to. It, no, 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 it it's not trap. It it's garbage. That's what they listen to. It's what? Garbage. It's garbage. Houston listen, man. is the only rapper that I could say right now in this day and age listen, is actually man. rapping. Young Thug is garbage. You're Little bugging. Uzi, listen, garbage. you're bugging. Young Thug like, got bar. You're fuck? bugging. Oh uh, man, why did you Yo. bring that up? Chill, you're oh. bugging. Garbage, you're bugging. Christ. Chill. Bro, you can you can you can talk about whoever you want. Man. Just leave Young Thug out of it, bro. He's probably the nicest no, nigga out of all them niggas, man. He's garbage. He's garbage. Bro, you're you're bugging, no, bro. It'd be garbage. Whatever. If they play the song and you gonna bop to it at the end of the I day. The Fact. I didn't play that shit in my car. Well, that's you. All right. I mean, but, but they gonna you gonna go somewhere where they play it and you gonna listen. In 10 years, they're really going to be shit. saying the shit that's out in 10 years from now is garbage. It's just it's just the cycle of what it is. We could go back and listen to Curtis Blow and he'd sound like he's fucking saying nursery rhymes. But <laughs> nobody, somebody who grew up then, they're not going to say that's garbage. Like, you know, music is just changes. It evolves. Nobody, we're at the time where people don't even have time to sit down and listen to lyrics. They want to hear sounds. A nigga can make a whole album of ad libs and the shit will go platinum. Yeah, it ain't lying. Nigga's done it already. Say it's garbage. Yeah, um, but it's music. Um, a little, a little Uzi and them niggas do that club shit. Club music, <laughs> club music is music and they're sitting there repeating the same shit. It's just a different type of music. 
Like I'm to the point where it's music's always gonna be changing, rap's always gonna nobody's people are not gonna rap the same. Right. It's just it's just how it is. If you want to go back and if you want to listen to your 90s, there's people that still rap like that. But, you, you know, you got to go looking for it. But you better off just going back, listening to Dipset. <laughs> you ain't going to find nobody new that's going to recreate fucking G-Unit. Like, that'll never happen. Or that's just done with. That's what I listen to. I listen to all 90s in my car. Oh, I listen to the oh, yeah, Jewels, Back Like Cook Crack, all that shit. Because that's... But, that was my prime of listening to music. Jones, you but look like I'm not going to say Future is garbage because his content is I, not I as good as... Garbage. I said low, Young Thug. I mean, even Young... But Sarah say Young Thug got bangers. And I and I can come from... Piff used to be playing that shit at work. I used to be like, yo, cut this shit off. But like, bro, what are you listening to? And then slowly but surely, you just keep hearing it, you keep hearing it. I'm like, you know what? I can fucking ride out to this shit. And That's then the shit, I man. finally start understanding some of the words he was saying. <laughs> and then when he actually does rap, and he's not whining or making all them noises, you know, he'd be saying shit. But it is what it is. It took me four years to start understanding Gucci. Mm. Gucci so cool. it's just, that's just me. Them country motherfucker. if I don't understand what you're saying, I can't rock, I can't rock with it. Like, it takes time. Like, I don't know what Future be saying half the time. I got to hear the song a long time or I got to look up the lyrics. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh, shit. shit. He was saying that? Yeah. And then I'll be like, you know what? Oh, he's, 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 he's the truth. Yeah. Like, he's not rhyming and, you know, he's not, you know, he doesn't have no, he doesn't have a way with words, but it's not like he's not saying anything. For yeah. some people... If you sip and lean, remember Piff, if they, they toast and they lean, and you know so crazy? <laughs> on the song, he says it. Yo, every time he says it, I think about when we talked about that shit at work. Yo, These man. niggas be toasting and lean. I told you. Yo, that shit is I told hilarious. you. I told you. Yo, it's just too funny. Yo, you but if you're listening to me, I'm telling you, man. It is what it is. Nah, I'm so serious. It's like, yo, but that... But this is this is what the young kids want to hear though. Like outside of what they're talking about and what we care, like you feel me? Outside of any Nas, Jay Z, mm -hmm. or whatever our generation was relevant, these guys are rapping to what these kids are doing. Like Nas and Jay Z are not even rapping to what these kids are doing. These kids are sipping lean, popping zannies, popping perks. You feel me? Like Grant, exactly. that's Going not a strip club. You feel me? They, they're doing wait. They're fucking strippers. All these chicks now they want to be strippers. Like, like everything, everything these dudes is rapping about is fucking significant to their lifestyle. Like, just think about it, though. This day and age, when have strippers been ever been this popular? Ever? Strippers. Yeah, it's like it's like almost okay. You hear what I'm saying? Like their yeah. popularity is just like uncanny at this point. They're almost there's some well, strippers is like celebrities, millions of thousands of followers. And what do they do? Yeah, Strip. makes no sense. That's it. Like, you get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And it's like, granted, I'm not saying it in any type of hateful way, but it's like when you look at it, it's like the, the this this is a whole new generation. Like, you feel me? What's popular to them isn't dictated by the media. Because when we was growing up, that's what was popular. We had to look on TV to see what was hot or the source or double XL. These niggas literally go on Instagram, oh, and literally overnight, boot mm -hmm. gang is hot. Fat boy is hot. Or you get what I'm saying? Or so and so is hot. Or you get, get what I'm saying? It's like, like I I heard my this son. Is different, man. You feel me? I heard my son singing a song, um, that Rolly, 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 then a, a dab a ranch, then a, like the, the the joint. Granted, like the joint's kind of catchy. Heard that shit. Granted, I ain't gonna hold you. My daughter be singing that shit. But see, like, like, but like, but see, now, now we're talking about an even younger generation, not even the kids now, the kids of the future, like our kids. So my son, he's over here singing that shit. So I go look it up. These, this is a song made by dance niggas. These niggas don't even like. <laughs> it's one thing that we don't like the rappers who don't rap. These niggas dance and then just made a rap song just because they just just because they could do it, and they got like millions mm -hmm. of followers. 
You get what I'm saying? But that's that's, that's right. the new generation. But wait, but that's how these kids are finding out it's hot. These dudes have got millions of followers on Instagram from dancing. They make a rap song, put it on YouTube, tell their millions of followers to go there, share it on your Facebook and shit. The shit goes trending and fucking next thing you know, you got a, a viral hit. You don't even need the radio. Yeah, man. But then think about it. If you really think about it, has music really changed though? It really hasn't. If you really think about it. No, that's all what they, I'm saying. They, the same know, change is just the internet. The same bullshit yeah. that's the, the Google Gaga that's out right now was Soldier Boy eight years ago, and, and we then, were sitting there like oh, I'm looking at my sister like fucking Superman, oh Jew, whatever. Then. What happened? He got older. He started rapping. He's rapping the same way these young niggas is rapping now. Facts. Facts. Yeah, it, it might just yeah. be they flow is faster because music is faster now. Yeah. And then you got to think about it. Like, now let's go back. Let's go back even further. In the 90s, you had Skilo. <laughs> you had niggas like that. You had Kwame. Dumb music. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's like you right, yo. The times have changed. It's yeah, just, but, it's just, bro. It's just now it, we're it's saturated more. We could hear more. I mean, oh, I remember growing up, you didn't hear anything from the South. Anything? Nah, I you never did. hear. You did. Outcast. Yes, you did. No, not on, not yeah, on Hot ninety seven. Three six mafia. No, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. Yeah, the one maybe that one single, and you only heard that because, uh, what you call was on Big Pimpin. Yeah. Nah. Nah, I, T, TG hey, is oh. right. No, you got to understand. Hot 97 Seriously, for a long bro? time, or just East Coast radio in general for a long time, especially with hip-hop, they didn't play. Because remember, hip-hop started on the East Coast, New York. They, for a very long time, they didn't play nothing that wasn't from New York. Because think about it. New York is yeah. listening to it. New York niggas don't want to hear these South niggas. It took it, bro, it took for I, now bro, for that, these I niggas to get on New York radio. I went to Summer Jam, and they booed T-Pain. Off the fucking, they booed him. And this is hold on, what year is they, Are you talking about? Oh, you talking about '09? Bro, this is not. This is he didn't have his own set. This was what was his first single? I'm sprung. Um, yeah, I'm sprung. Yeah. It might have. You know how they used to just have the person come perform one song mm -hmm. and shit like that. Booed his ass. I remember, who else was there? Somebody else from the south. I want to say Ludacris. Wasn't no response. The fuck locks came out there. People was losing it. I believe it. But we're like you said, we had summer jam. It's a tri state, and this was the beginning. Like when I, you know, I'm hearing Houston on the radio. You hearing Slim Thug, and you just hear like, oh yeah, these niggas been out forever. And it's just like, what? Yeah, I thought he was brand new. Real All them people on the West Coast, Mac Dre, E40. I'd have thought E40 was brand new. Nope, this guy been out. Yo, Mac Dre been out since the 90s. That's, so that's what I'm saying, but Max you Dre don't too. hear, but now with yeah. the internet and everything, there's no barrier. No, nah, everything TG saying is right. Like, wait. Like, you I hear music now. I don't know where anybody's from now. Like, Mac Dre, like, in the 90s, Let's just let's just turn the clock back though. In the '90s, no internet, and all we got is the radio, literally, and the and, and video music box. Granted, outside of that, how are you going to find Mac Dre? You got to sit there and exactly. hope yeah, you true. see. You got to hope you see his video, or hope you got a homeboy from the West Coast, or just yep. uh, or like, because they didn't have CDs yeah. set up at the time. You could just go in and listen to albums. You feel me? Nope. And niggas wasn't just buying shit just to buy it. Like, yo, like, you feel me? Granted, if it was off a recommendation, but think about it. Recommendations was literally old school. Recommendations now is the shit. You click on an album, below the album, they say people also view these. Recommendations back then was, yeah. yo, you should listen to this. Yo, it's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. Like real shit. True. That that was that was recommendations. So that's that was the only way you was getting to a Mac Dre. Because remember, there was no internet, and the radio only played what was what was favorable for where you live. Like I'm not even gonna hold you. I, like I, until you until we talking about yeah. this now, it may sound like a, a silly high question, but until when I was growing up, I literally thought everywhere hot had Hot 97. I'm not gonna bullshit you. I remember you yeah, used to drive, mean. no, you drive like to Philly or drive South Jersey and you start losing it. And I used to just be like, oh, like, what's going on? And it went, and it went. Yeah, wait. Yeah, <laughs> Wendy was Williams and shit. Uh -huh. You feel me? It was just like, what, what's going on? I, I, That's just whack. But until that happened to me, I never Yo. knew that. 
And I'm going to be very honest with you. I always thought, but you got to understand, if you were East Coast and, and if you and, and, and if you and you're speaking to East Coast niggas who probably never left New York, think about those niggas. So if you're talking to niggas who never left New York, they're like, yeah, everywhere got Hot 97. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's listening and, and, to the baby. And looking at you like, the fuck is Hot 97? You're right. You feel me? Like, like, yeah, like, we know Funk Flex. Like, Funk, like, if you live out here, you don't, like, you know who Funk Flex is. Yeah. Wait, if it wasn't for the internet, like, I wouldn't Angie know who Martinez, Big Boy is. These, these, I wouldn't know who Big nah, Boy is. Right? Or, like, you've seen, them, you've seen them in a movie. You yep. see all these guys in all these movies, you know, like The Wash and all these, all these West Coast guys. Yo, yo, man. DJ Pooh and them. Yo, TG, mm-hmm. I'll I give you a prime example. You remember on Hot 97 when the Ed Lover show was in No More and Big Boy in the Morning was on it? Come, um, they was they was um screening from California. You remember that shit? It was a t- Ooh, the the big the big boy that was with Ed Lover. No, 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 no. The big boy that was from California, and he was big as fuck, but he just recently lost weight in the last ten. Oh years. yeah, yeah, yeah. The real big dude. He was on Hot 97. Yeah, yeah he was on Hot 97, but they were casting from California. Oh damn! I don't remember that. It was, in the, it was the morning show. Yeah, bro, look up. Real shit. I remember the shit. That was the first damn. time. It was. I something. forgot about Ed Lover. Yeah, because they had they had the Ed Lover morning show, and then then they stopped it. They just stopped out of nowhere. Then they had Big Boy in the morning on oh, on oh, Hot ninety seven. I remember the shit, bro. It didn't last that long because because it wasn't literally Hot ninety seven. I remember Starbuck Wild. I remember them. Them too. niggas was going crazy. Yeah, they was good. Yeah, same. That's when I used to be listening. Nah, that's when it was worth listening. Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, <laughs> wait, but it, it, it's not. It's not the fact that they used to go crazy. They did something that was completely different from what everyone else was doing. Because when you listen to the, the yeah. morning show, like, just remember the morning show formats back then before Starbuck Wild got on. It was like, hey, we did the, it was very toned. It was very like laid back. Mm-hmm. It was very calm, bro. These niggas came on hyped and charged, ripping jokes, arguments with custom. Yep. I mean, um, callers like you feel me, ripping, ripping celebrities. Hanging up on people. You get what I'm saying? Like they came yep. turned up. Yeah. Like you feel me? They was turned and and then believe it, we all know that's how the no, Breakfast Club been, became. But morning shows before that was on exactly. some eat your coffee and donuts type shit. You feel me? Yeah, the news today, mm-hmm. traffic on the the the, the, the GWRs. Da, 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 da. You get what I'm saying? Like that's how morning shows were. Everything was like on the WBLS format. Real laid back on some Steve Harvey shit. Crack some jokes. Ha ha ha. Let me tell you a story about my weekend. You feel me? Like that's how that was. Like mm-hmm. I promise okay. you, that's how they all were. All of them. Like and then then they came and it's like, oh, this the the wait. People was listening on the simple fact that it was different. Then they was just they was wowing. You feel me? They was wowing. Like just think about it. Everybody uh, yeah. in a day and age where everybody is wowing, you have to be so different to stand out. That's why I'm telling people like originality, like they was the first ones to do that shit. Now everybody want now everybody has a show where they got a cannon on it. Think about it. They never really had a show with sure. like a can like everyone needs like a Charlemagne or a star now. Everyone like even yeah. even what you call it like Howard Stern. Yeah, you feel me? He's Everyone the, needs somebody. He that shit too. You feel me? He he was definitely on the forefront of that shit. Like like but every show needs one of these guys now, man. It's like like they came with a formula, like in the deck, especially Howard Stern. I can't I used to stay up late to watch his radio show. He used to have a live radio oh, yeah. show. He was provocative, dude, like for real. Dude, he nah, was, was, wild, he was just doing Yo. But it was just good because it was just regular shit, and it was just having a conversation. Yeah. And then he'd have Stripper Jeopardy on, and he'd have some homeless people on there asking them questions, and you'd just be like, "Yo, these people are fucking stupid." So yeah, wait, it was. But it was just di- yeah, it was just different, man. Like it was. But now, curve. like you did, all the morning shows, nothing's original, because everything, all of them are the same. Like you said, they got one person that wild out. All of the segments are pretty much the same. They're just a little different. But they all, you know, it's none's original. Somebody needs to come in and, and shake it up. That's why Star, like if Star, like somebody needs to do it with Star, I promise. And, it's, and, and when I say with Star, it's not about wilding up, wilding out. Star was the one who would stir the pot. Like now, like the, now niggas is too, like the thing is, think about Star. Like, I hate to make this a moment about him, but it's like, he didn't care about relationships. 
everybody yeah, now yeah. is all about relationships. Like, no, I can't say yeah. that about this person, or I can't say this about that person. Yep. You feel me? Star didn't give a fuck about it. He's like, I don't give a fuck if your album was trash. You get what I'm saying? Interview, wait, he'll He's ask you. Off. You feel me? And interview you and still ask you these quiet Wait, for you to come up there and do an interview with Star, like, niggas looked at you. You had to have a different type of balls because he would shit on you, then come in you and shit on you in the interview and be like, ah, right, you're a good guy. <laughs> You get what he's like, wait, <laughs> but I'm gonna kid you not though, but that's probably why I like Colin Cow Cowherd so much. As far as like on a radio court, he be going off. He be going off. Mm -hmm. Like he just be going like granted. I know I know he got relationships too that you know he he threads lightly, like everyone does, but for the most part, he be he be going off. He be going off and you know and I know people don't want to get interviewed by him because he's gonna dig him in you fucking asshole, bro. Pause. Like yeah. like like he ain't going to, basically like how he said, I ain't going to ask the sweet questions. You feel me? I forgot who it was. I think, um, I forgot, I forgot the coach. It was like a year or two ago. They had this scandal going on in the news. Right, around, Rick Pitino. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, Rick Pitino. Oh, hey, fellas. Hey, fellas, we need to cut you off. It was, it was called Big Boy Neighborhood on Hot 97. That's what it was. It was like in like 2009, wow. Big Boy's yeah. Neighborhood. And mind you, that was getting casted from California. But yeah, it had, everything has to go through hot nine, but it's like, dang, I, yeah. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my bad, man. Nah, man. Seventy sixers gave you the Rockets that work, boy. Yeah, these teams, these teams is kicking up, man. These teams is kicking up, man. That's definitely, that's definitely the fucking, the the the, the move, man. We want to see the good, the bad teams mm. get good, and the good teams get. Get well, I don't want to say bad, but average, and the average teams get better. That makes the, you know. We'll see some competition. That's all. Cool. Yeah, you know. We'll see some good competition. Cool, and that's that's oh, cool. nothing more, nothing less. You feel me? Oh man! So mm, the defense. We run it. We run it towards the end of this one. So I, I got a, I got a few a few 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 closer a few closer oh, ones for y'all, gentlemen. So right here. Oh my right. gosh! Oh, and we and don't forget the wild out story of the fucking day. Can't can't forget. So I got four more. We're gonna run it like this. So, what is the? How much candy? We're gonna. I got a survey, a round table discussion. How, how much candy do you think it would take for someone to die if they was to eat in one sitting? I don't know, bro. All depends on the candy. Just guess. Just how guess. much? So we'll just, we'll just value it in sugar. How much sugar would have to be consumed in one sitting for a person to die if they're just going to sit down and eat candy? I say, damn. I, I say, a, what? 10,000 grams. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to go for like 15. All right, let's break it down into pounds. Damn. 10 pounds. Shit, I'll say real shit, I'll say five Break pounds. Down like, to pounds. Yeah, I'm sticking with mine. I'll say probably like six pounds. Okay, so Matt got six. Uh Jones got ten. T G, where you at? How many pounds? Yeah. Or grams? Yeah. Pounds. It's a tough one. Uh, to, to die? To die. It's, it's, to eat bro, it's gotta be like, bro, it's gotta be like 50 pounds, bro. To die? You could eat 10 pounds of candy. I'm pretty sure somebody's ate 10 pounds of chocolate. I bet you're a diabetic, has it? <laughs> well, yeah. Well. I'm gonna say 50. Well, I'm gonna say like 50? 50. All right, so we got 10, yeah. 6, 50. Dang, y'all, y'all are some wild shooters, but. If you are a hundred, uh, uh, if you are a man or woman at the weight of 180 pounds, you would have to eat at least five and a half pounds of sugar in one sitting. See, I to told die. you I was close. I was close. <laughs> yeah, Jones. You, Jones was second. You you died twice with Jones. Yeah, TG, you was out. You you <laughs> you was like fuck that. Niggas got to eat 50. It's I don't good. believe that shit. <laughs> but now I think about it. Five pounds of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah, that's a whole like that's a lot of. That's like two. Man. That's like two of them packages, cause that's like two and a half pounds of uh two and a two pounds bag of sugar, them bags. It's wild. Damn. All right. Yeah. All I don't right. know what I was thinking. That's like a pallet. So, the wild out story of the week, man. We got some wild ones, man. Whew. 
these these are just a fucking doozy. Well, look, before before we get there, we're just going to ask this one for the sake of the Halloween episode and our experiences in growing up or just in childhood. If you were to go trick or treating now with the experiences we have accomplished, all I am saying just to simulate what would be the, the preferred Halloween candy of choice? Mm. Snickers. Oh, so you're a chocolatey brother. So you're going to take yeah. two facials and no, a snicker. <laughs> I'm about to kill you, though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn. Look at this guy. The fuckery. The fuckery. You're a senior right. analyst, man. We need you for something. I would say the, um, damn, some shit, see, nerds. Wow, I yeah, nerds. I still like getting those because I never would buy those. Like, that's not a candy I would ever go to the store and buy. But when I got those, I always liked those. The little box with the um, purple and pink ones. Yeah. Oh, man. Good classic. Mac, talk to us. I hear you. Say, say, say that one more time, bro. So I hear you. you. Had, My fault, man. So, so if you had to choose as far as um, Halloween candy, preferred of choice, if you used to go trick-or-treating with your experience and after the years, what would you be... What would you be looking forward to receiving? Fucking lighter, man. On a trick or treating note, real shit. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll probably still be going out there wilding the fuck out, son. No, no, no. You didn't I even I said go for candy. candy. I'm on eggs. Oh, you, you, no, no. We're, we're aiming for candy. We're going for candy. You're, you're trying to get arrested. If we're going for oh. candy. Oh, you know, I'm a delinquent, son. My bad, son. <laughs> <laughs> I want. <watched>, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going straight probably for the for the Snickers, bro. Damn, wow. now two chocolatey brothers, you and yeah. Jones. Right. The Snickers and Reese's, dude, all day. Damn, really? Oh. Yeah. I never, I never saw that after chocolate. Never People fucking after love chocolate. Reese's. I don't get. Yo, it's, it's something about peanut butter and chocolate, bro. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't like peanut butter, so. Oh damn, yeah. you're lost. <laughs> I ain't miss it. I like jelly. That's yeah. what I bet. It's the win. Jelly so, sandwich. Yeah. I ain't going for a jelly sandwich. That that definitely go down. Fuck. But, yeah, um, just jelly, bro. No peanut butter. But um the wild out story, guys. This this some wild shit right here, man. This this some wild shit. And this 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 is like our new segment slash you heard it here first, or if you didn't want to hear it, you still heard it, but this is the wild fuckery. I hate to give it this setup, but I'm just going to dive right into it. An Atlanta mother of three on a afternoon last week in October decides to put two of her young children into the oven and turn the oven on, therefore killing them. Yeah, I heard about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was sad, man. Bruh. That shit ain't even yeah. That that's that bitch is all for rocker for real, son. That chick I I Did she kill did she kill herself? Nah, she didn't kill herself, but somebody needs somebody needs to kill her. Yeah, but uh, don't you like don't you wonder sometimes on people's mind when they do shit like that though? No, because the crazy thing is she's gonna plead insanity and not go and get off. No, what is really wrong with this bitch? She's gonna get some so time. What? I fail to believe she gets no. She gets off that easy. Uh, you don't do you such a heinous know, crime. This is such a heinous crime. Such a heinous crime. Like this is. Oh my gosh. But I mean, I don't know what. I don't know what justice is right because, like you said, but did I, I don't know because you could say until you're clinically. Diagnosed as crazy or whatever, you're normal. Facts. So there's people in jail right now that kill people, and they're in jail because we it was normal. But some could have been wrong with them. Yeah, their story could have been so outlandish. You're looking at it like this: this nigga got to be crazy. Lock his ass up. Uh, fuck out of here. But then it's like, but then you think about it: what so, is really crazy? <laughs> that's how that's how far yeah, fetched you can get. You don't know. Yeah. It's an opinion based on who, on what. 
I, I could I go, know. I could go take the same test as a crazy person, and and, and I might be diagnosed as the same thing well, if I answered said. everything honestly. Yeah, yeah, true. So, it's all subject yeah. to. Yes, it's subjective. The object. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, right. she's that, I mean, that's in the fucking oven. Honestly, let's move to the next one. I don't want to give that one yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, time. yeah, I can't even. That's just that's wild. Crazy, like that's just a wild. Oh my god! They should. Yeah. It should be Hammurabi's rule. They should put her ass in the oven. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I can agree. I, I, I can agree. Right. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a fuck around believer that shit. Nah, I'm a Robbie's law. Yeah, for, for cases like this, when you when you feel like there's no justice you really could pick, the same thing. Like yeah. shit like that. That is yeah, that's that's just, well the the next wild out story is just you guys probably heard this one because this one got made headlines over the weekend, but if not, two New York police oh, officers. Oh, I should have Oh, wow. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, so two New York City police officers have been arrested on rape after arresting a victim back in September on drug charges, then taking the, that victim to a Chipotle parking lot and then forcing her to perform oral sex on one of the officers. Now, wow. after they find out after the arrest that this victim was only a teenager. Yeah. So wow, what's the verdict? Like, what, what, what were they doing to these guys? You know, Mayor de Blasio got on question. stage and got and, and said his, his normal speech and song and said this is just, unex, you know, unexpected. Nah, they're going to get burnt. Yeah. And wait, and, 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 and I don't want to get this lost in the in the Because people don't, you either. know, you could kill She was kill handcuffed nigga, as well. But you can't rape nobody. Yeah, wait, she was handcuffed during the process. So... The young, the teenage girl was handcuffed while being raped, and you know. Yeah, really. Hold on, hold on. Is this time? Is this yo? It was a similar story like that. That when some cops raped a little fifteen-year-old girl, and a New York cop raped the fifteen-year-old girl, she was locked up. They raped her in the, in the cell. Yeah, it probably happens. Wait, I went, wait, in the cell? Yeah. This happened in the van in the Chipotle parking lot. Like, yo, it's just that these cops have the use of powers. Just. It's just crazy, man. It's these it's just sickos. It just show like the part that the part that makes this so wild is that one, it shows you these sickos in this world, but two, it shows you these sickos with power. So it just makes us even more weary of just certain situations in life, cause you feel me? Not everyone with power, like you feel like that like that saying is so true. With great power comes great responsibility, but not everyone is ready for great power. Like people yeah, will lose like sure. like you see this. You arrest an underage person and you, like, this is like, this is out. I'm going to be honest. Some of this shit to me is just outlandish. Just for, like, I mean, these thoughts to be go Like, just for people to think like this is outlandish. Yeah, but, I, I, I mean, this is, I hate to say it, but, yo, this is, this is people, man. This is the world. Like, I feel like it's like, when, you know, when they say a kid, you're going to keep a kid innocent. You know, you don't want them to know what really goes on, but like this is the stuff when people say the real world, that's the shit that's going on. Okay. And like we said, so oh, think about it. These are regular people that got a regular job. What do people do at their regular jobs? People do shit. If you yeah. know you could get away with it at your job, people steal. Fine. People do all kinds of shit. So if you just look at it on the level of they just going to work, okay. What type of power do I have with this job? Oh, I can do this. And they just taking advantage of it. Yeah. And then if you got your superiors down to back you, I just think about how many young cops come in and then they got to work with a veteran. They're like, yeah, this is how we do it. This is what we do. I hope they both burn in hell. So, like, I feel like a lot of that shit just, I mean, brings it back, man. Nice. Just, uh, That's all I want. I, I just hope they hope, hope they man. brainwashed them, man. Oh, it's the brotherhood, protect the shield. But no matter what, <laughs> exactly. No matter but what. the crazy, the people that come up and don't do that, they get they weave out. So if you see that, you just it's like, damn. All right, I need to conform. 
I get paid well. If I last 20 years, I could retire, get a pension for the rest of my life. But if the shoe was on the other foot, but though. In, in that 20 years, you get brainwashed. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just want to come part of it. You become part of this underworld, this dark clan. Like I don't want to. Yeah. I hate to say it like that, yeah. but that's how that's how it's depicted when you see situations like this. Like and now, like TG said, they're gonna get burned, but their burn is not like our burn. Like if we was to do this, handcuff a, a underage minor and rape and. Like I don't even want to describe. You feel me? Reiterate that. Yeah, but over. if we, but if we, you feel me? They would hang us out to dry. Them getting burnt is probably like two to three years in a freaking uh, a a low max a low securities prison, and you know, yeah, and like Grant, like, yeah. like I for, I forgot what it was. I saw I saw some police officer after they the charges they got. You know, it's like granted just because of being a police officer, they got probably I think. I think three to six years for manslaughter. And I'm like, what? Like, that is just like, you know, three to six years. And granted, you know, they get out on X amount of time on good behavior. You know, there's all these extra, you know, Mm -hmm. fine details being worked in. But it's just crazy when you just see that shit just happen, man. It's, it's, I don't know, man. It's it's just wild, bro. It's just wild. But I ain't, I ain't going to keep it too long, though. But um, this this been a rocking pod though, man, for the Halloween mischief night episode, gentlemen. We 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 definitely been going for yes, a long sir, one, sir. bro. Yeah. So happy Halloween! Yeah, to for those for oh, those sure. who go out and celebrate. But once again, um, I'm the host, sir T- Piffery. I'm so high, sir Piffery Goods. <laughs> <laughs> sir Piffery Goods. Piff is tally right now. I'm so high right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> TG, talk to the people. Hey, TG, this is TG. Yeah, yeah, I'm high as hell, too. I'm about to go find my fucking lighter. It was a great, <laughs> it was a great pod tonight. Hopefully, y'all subscribe. Tune in to the next episode. Holla at me, man. Yeah, drop reviews, guys. Don't forget drop reviews, man. Um, Mac, amazing. Yeah, we need that feedback. Absolutely. Yo, Talk it's your to boy Mag. I hope everybody has a great Halloween. Find me at VSF underscore MAC. Have a great one. All right. The next Halloween episode. Next episode, we, we got some Halloween come downs we, we, we break down for y'all. And um, last but not least, man, our senior most seasoned analyst, Mr. Double Facial. Talk to the people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, don't call me that. All right. It's- <laughs> <laughs> Find me on Twitter, King underscore forever. Feel me? Safe Halloween. Keep y'all kids safe because you know a lot of shit happened. Uh, my car got egged earlier today. Damn. Oh, was damn. that before or after your double facial? <laughs> uh, again, we're not gonna speak on that double facial because I don't know what that. I got one of those. Right, so. <laughs> um, but you know, keep the kids out of trouble, man. Like, like the world is dangerous nowadays, so watch out for batteries and shit. Niggas still be doing shit tomorrow. And uh, you know, happy holidays to everybody. I'm gonna try to take my kids trick or treating tomorrow. Shout out to the future delinquents too, man. That was one of them. <laughs> man, that was one of them, bro. I could I could sit here and tell y'all niggas stories of me terrorizing motherfucking communities. Y'all niggas might even look down <laughs> on me on some no nah, like real shit, man. I I did some wild yeah, hot nah, boy we shit. We don't want to know the we don't want to know the young piff. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep those savage stories away, man. But we out, man. Um, the Mr. Yes. Senior, wait, wait, senior, senior, most analyst, wow. the, Mr. Double Facial on the December issue. Are you gonna give us an exclusive, the early exclusive? Listen, I'm not giving no exclusive. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Yeah, I'm out, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, we <laughs> King Joe's got a new name, Mr. Double Facial. <laughs> Capital D F, my boy. <laughs> <laughs>